Hello everyone, myself is Sagar. Welcome back to another video. In our last video, we explained like how to practice SQL question and how lead code helps us to practice more SQL question for interview purpose. So we have solved the first question in the last video. Now we'll continue with the series and we'll solve the second question. The second question here is find the customer referee. Okay, when you click it and let's see what's the question and let's understand the question. So it says, okay, we have a table called customer. Okay, these are the column name, ID name and reference ID. So these are the type that is integer bar Karen int. Okay. So what it says that this ID is a primary key of the table. Okay. What is saying it's ID is a primary key since it's a primary key. So it will be a unique and there is no nulls will be available in this ID call. Okay. Now each row of the table indicates the ID of a customer, their name and the ID of the customer who referred them. So what is saying this is the ID of the customer and the name of the customer and the ID of the customer who has referred the customer. Okay. It's uh, that what's it represent in the table. So what we need to do now find the names of the customer that are not referred by the customer with id is equal to two okay it says whoever the customer that are not referred by the id is equal to two we need to find out that okay and return the result table in any order so there is no order clause for this problem so let's see what's the input okay you can see here in the customer table there is a id name reference id so id is one two three four five six again in a uh, primary key so there is no nulls or anything whereas reference id is not a primary key and you can see a null and we can see two also where is uh, alex is referred by second that might be the jane and even mark is referred by jane so and one is another reference id which we can see apart from that there are nulls okay and what is the desired output we need this 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 and this okay i mean the names of the customer which are not referred by two so it should come null also and one also now before get starting with this question let's see null right null is something that we can't match or compare or anything okay we can't say that okay two matches with null okay we don't know we don't know what is null what's the value so that's a blank value right we don't know it's a blank also so uh, it's like a void so when we don't know what value to be added we just indicate it as a null so that should be kept in mind this is a bit tricky question because what usually we do right uh, it's a straightforward question right it's not much so what we do let me show that so what we say first select select what we need we just need a name right we need name of the customer name and from the table from what table we have something called as a customer table okay that's a customer now once we do that and uh, we need to filter right where reference id is not equal to where reference okay let me copy this id is not equal to two so if you only do this what happens you see here okay once we do that we get an error here why you can see here okay now it is saying reference id is not equal to two it understood that so it only checks the numbers here you can't match with null okay two cannot match with null it cannot say okay whether two is null is two or not it can't match it just bypass these records and only go with the number and it checks for one once it checks it gets only jack has the answer so there is a issue here so what we need to do we need to consider null also if there is null in the reference id take that also so what we say and we say what we say and reference id okay i'm oh, sorry for that okay reference id equal to null no now again for null we cannot equate right we can't equate anything to null we can't say reference id equal to null so whenever we use null or not null there is something called ease we have to use that is called a ease clause because it's saying okay it's saying okay this column is null we are saying we are not saying this column is equating to null okay that's a wrong again uh, query to write so this is the exact query which was required from this uh, question let's see what is the answer for this now once we run this it should satisfy the use case and it should, oh again it is giving the wrong why output is not coming okay let me say okay sorry uh, again hmm, we made a mistake okay we made a mistake why and condition now what it does and condition when we put and what is doing it is checking this and this also there is there is no both reference id is true and reference id is null there is can't be that right 
So we have to go with or. As I explained in the last syntax between and and or. So when any one of the case is satisfied, we need to get that, right? So that's the reason it was coming as wrong. When we run this query, and now it should satisfy and we get the correct answer, okay? So it's very important to know about the things like and, and or operator, and, and or operator, and how to read null values. So that's what we were understood in the first two questions, how to filter the queries from the select tables. And even though the queries are simple, but the, there are some little bit logic that we need to implement that, it helps us to build the logic. I hope you understood this video. We'll continue with the same series and we'll see the next question in the next video. Thank you for being till the end of the video. We'll see in the next video. Thank you.